In the last video, you saw that I was challenged to sell a C8 that I haven't sold in seven months. Well, now my friend has challenged me to sell something just a little more unique. Hey, what? don't you know you don't come and knock when the vans are rocking? I wanted to know what you were doing in there. It was a rocking. Perverted. Yes, my friend Mike has challenged me to sell his $100,000 Explorer van. I have a lot of friends named Mike and my idiot friend Mike bought the C8, but my other friend Mike wants me to sell this van right here that's completely decked out. I'm a huge fan of Explorer vans. They're just outside my hometown of Fort Wayne, Indiana in Warsaw, Indiana, and I've sold these over the years. And you can even go backwards on my channel when I did Walk Around Wednesdays that there was a couple of these that I focused on that are really cool features. Well, since then, this thing's got some more features that those didn't even have. The first thing that I love about these Explorer vans is right here at what would be the front license plate bracket. And you gotta be like, Chevy dude, what's, it's a front license plate bracket. What good is this? Well, not everyone's 6'3", and they can't reach the windows up here. So what Explore has done is made this an actual step. I'm 225 pounds, and I'm standing on this completely, so you can reach all the way up here to make sure you can get your window clean. And it's still rocking. The wild and crazy thing about this is this is called a high top conversion van. This originally comes as a cargo van like that you would see plumbers and HVAC guys use. And the Explorer company turns this into this absolutely amazing masterpiece of what you see here. We got 20 inch wheels. We have uh, these ground effects down here. That's something extra. And what's really cool that I never had when I sold these back at Chevrolet is they have power running boards. And again, for someone who's tall like me, I don't need those power running Boards. So what's really cool is they shut these off right here. There's a switch that you can just shut them off so that way they don't work. But if you're short, we'll just leave them on for everyone. Where I'm not a real big fan of selling on this channel, I like to really show you really cool things about all the cars that I sell. And this one right here actually has room for nine people. The very first thing that I really like about this is it's got a little cooler down here and you can keep- Anything that you wanna keep cool. Beer, I mean, soda and cold stuff in here. And uh, right there, we've got Rich and Matt's meat sticks down here. These things are awesome. And then looking back here, you might have noticed these guys right here. These are kind of like little skylights, side lights, if you want to call them. That's something that's pretty new. And I absolutely love that. But right back here, you can see that we've got a full sunroof back here. And uh, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I tried to stick myself through this and do a thumbnail. So we're not going to do that. It's not been tried and we're not going to do it at all. And looking back forward, there's a 27 inch TV up here. We have JBL surround sound system, and we also have infrared wireless headphones too. So it makes this really awesome that you can travel in peace and quiet or have a really awesome sound system. But what's really awesome is that we have these sunshades, but this right here, oh yeah. This is where all the magic happens with the touch of a button you can turn this bad boy into a bed. I absolutely love challenges, and this is gonna be a huge challenge to sell. And like I said, I'm not really on this channel to sell you anything. I just wanna show you the really cool things that we have here at Mike's Car Store. We do have a Mike's Car Store YouTube channel, which I'll link in the description below if you wanna see everything about this van. So that just leads to one thing, Mr. Chevy dude. Can Are we going to be able to sell this or not? <laughs> I don't know if you can sell it. Are you that good of a salesman? Well, I did sell a six-figure Corvette to a big stupid idiot named Mike. So that's pretty good as a salesman, don't you think? Your name is Mike. Oh, wait. Are you and sure then... you did buy it? And then I did buy a C8 one time. So which mic are we talking about? Too many mics in this world. But this is not the only challenge that we have. Mike has said if we can sell this van, that he's gonna challenge us to sell our most expensive vehicle in my entire career, and especially for Mike's car store. Do you think we can sell this van and Mike's 